Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to have a look at the Kodiak 100 from Simworks Studios, and I was wondering what scenery to use. Then I realised that they'd developed the Okavango Delta scenery in Africa, which is ideal uh, to show off this aircraft. So let's have a look at what's coming up in this video. A adventure weekend on safari in Africa. We start by landing at Kajira, then it's a short hop by helicopter to our cabin at the resort where we've got various machines to try. We get to see a sunrise, it's a packed weekend, we go on a speedboat, uh, we get to fly our own ultralight uh, and we get back to the uh, airstrip where there's a mystery plane to try. So let's roll the video. So here we are in the Kodiak 100 and we're moving. Uh, and we're in the Safari Wings livery that is from uh, Simwork Studio to go with the Okavango uh, scenery and we're coming in to Kajira. As you can see it's uh, quite a steep approach. Nice to see the passengers uh, illustrated in the model. Uh, it's just a brilliant aircraft this. I'm sure you've seen the reviews. It's probably one of the best aircraft in the sim at the moment. As we look at our approach as we come into the airstrip at Kajira. Ideally you'd overfly the, uh, the runway and check for any obstacles but uh, I think we omitted to do that. We've got some obstacles here as in elephants but we should be able to make our way through. I think we got away with that. No virtual animals were injured and the itinerary says that we've got an H125 helicopter uh, to take us to our lodgings at our cabin at the resort. So we see the uh, H125 coming into land. It's going to uh, take us the short hop over to our uh, accommodation. And uh, we'll uh, get our luggage shifted over and uh, we'll get off to uh, our resort. Here we go. Uh, this is the H125 from Motor Sim Pilot. I've chosen a livery. I know it's got a tiger on it and there's no tigers in Africa. Uh, but it just seemed to, to suit the, uh, the look and feel of our scenery. Get a look at the view, and uh, there's our Tiger livery, uh, Swiss registered uh, helicopter. But uh, we can see the internals here of, uh, of the 125 as we come into our Lakeshore uh, landing area. And I'll try and put it down by our cabin. Uh, we've got an ultralight there, an amphibious ultralight, so that's uh, something that we can have a look at later. Let me just see if I can uh, switch down. Uh, there we go. Yeah, nice livery this one. Thanks to uh, Sammy3 for this one uh, at flightsim.to. Uh, and let's go and have a look at our accommodation. This is one of many uh, camps or resorts that are in the scenery. Uh, it's huge, the scenery, and uh, just have a look at the sort of detail that's gone into the uh, the add-ons to the, the, the base scenery as we uh, look at our uh, apartment cabin and uh, our toys outside. I've uh, got a speedboat there and uh, the ultralight. Time for uh, a little relax, I think, as we look at the reflection of the sun going down. Uh, and decide which uh, machine we try in the morning. Uh, I can't decide just yet. Um, but one thing that I did want to do was uh, have a look at the dawn uh, and the sunrise. Uh, so uh, we'll get up and uh, get out onto our veranda and uh, have a look at the sunrise. I think it's uh, coming up. Our kit's still there outside and uh, that's good. Uh, the sun should be coming up soon. Uh, great feel, great atmosphere in this scenery. Uh, you could be there, couldn't you? And there she comes, the sun, which means that we can uh, crack on and uh, choose which uh, of the available vehicles we'd like to try first. I think it's got to be the, uh, the speedboat while the sun's coming up over the, uh, over the lake. So let's make our way 
over to uh, Speedboat, which is uh, from Paddy S, uh, and is available on Sim Market for about 12 euros. So let's jump inside and see if we can get it started up. And we seem to have managed that. A nice view of the sun coming up. And uh, this luxury Speedboat looks great, doesn't it? Um, could do with a pilot uh, or a skipper, but uh, great for uh, getting around any waterways and, and uh, it does handle well in terms of uh, control and, uh, and speed, um, a, a good aspect from down at the water level as we, uh, as we watch our journey around our bit of lake outside our cabin. Nice wake features as well. And uh, we'll just see if we can uh, beach her next to, uh, next to our cabin and uh, we'll move on. Nice one. Time for the ultralight. So the guys have obviously uh, on board checking it out there, but uh, we'll jump on board uh, and we'll get her started up. One of my favourites this from uh, Blue Mesh, the amphibious ultralight. And, uh, we're down on the wheels at the moment, retractable wheels, uh, and hopefully when we get deep enough into the water, we'll start to float. Which seems to be working, and we can uh, we can raise the wheels. There we go, and time to take off. It's, a, it's another vehicle, it's another machine that, that, that's geared up for low and slow and, and looking at the, uh, the scenery just like the, uh, the speedboat uh, gave us the, uh, the water level view. Uh, low and slow uh, we can uh, take in the uh, bigger scale of the, of the safari landscape. You can see the camp there spread over quite an area with different uh, lodges. Uh, and we'll just take an overview. Uh, there's a pool in the middle of the camp and a, and a bit of a bar, really nicely modelled. And as I was saying, a nice feel for the place. I wave in at us there. Um, interesting. And uh, our ultra, ultra light should be coming overhead. There we go. Uh, we're on our way to, uh, to back to the airstrip. Uh, and uh, the itinerary says that uh, if we land there, there is a a mystery uh, plane for us to take a spin in so uh, we'll uh, try and land it's very there's no next to no wind which I think is uh, not really helping us really um, we are into wind but uh, not by much ah but we're down we're down so we'll backtrack uh, on this uh, nice strip and uh, see if we can catch a glimpse of uh, what's in store. There she is. It's a glider of some description. So if we park our uh, amphibious ultralight out of the way, the guys are just uh, sorting their jeeps out around here I think. And we'll make our way uh, over to the glider and see if uh, we can take a flight. go. Looks uh, like the pilot's uh, having a bit of a sunbathe, but uh, I think we'll kick him out and we'll get in. Oh, that's a nice animation. This is the uh, Got Friends Discus, and it's in its uh, freeware, and it's just out. Uh, and rather than needing add-on programs, it's got self-launch ability, which we've just engaged there which mimics a, a, a cable tow which you can set. I think we're just going to get up to about a thousand foot because we want to be looking closely at the animals and the scenery. So we'll manually uh, release ourselves from the cable uh, before we get to the height that we've got programmed in. So I think we're, uh, we're just about there. So we'll uh, press release. There we go. Not being towed up anymore. And, uh, can level out. Uh, there's ballast aboard uh, this glider. I've released the ballast because I'm not trying to uh, get any high speeds or any great distances. I'm just trying to pick up a few thermals from the uh, landscape. So 
some of the giraffe in there, I think. So this this glide is great because it's it's sort of self-contained. It's uh, well modelled. It's it's revised. It's by Got Friends. It's freeware. Uh, what could be better? As an uh, aircraft in this environment, it's brilliant for uh, slow flight uh, over and silent flight over over the uh, over the habitat. So we've got the brakes on. Uh, we're coming into land. We uh, think we can get down before these elephants turn up. Hoping that's the case, but it's looking uh, increasingly unlikely. Uh, I'm going to have to get out of the way. Oh dear. Oh, no one injured as yet. I'm not so sure now. Um, I was trying to think of a way to, to end this uh, video, but I think, uh, I think this is it. Well, I'll catch you later, guys. Hopefully.